beings, an environment that is free of drugs, an environment that is free of violence, where children feel secure, where children feel loved, and where teachers work with children with caring attitudes. Church World Service therefore invests in training teachers, in providing peer exchanges where teachers can exchange knowledge and information. They can exchange skills and therefore uh, work towards a common goal. Every year, Church World Service supports children's activities in different areas so that they can bring out their understanding of school safety, what safety means for them and what safety means for other children in other schools. Church World Service, through this, is helping create confidence among school children. It's helping to um, create ownership of the school safe zones concept. It's helping also to bring together different schools in a, in a form of a cluster so that the schools can share together their understanding, they can share knowledge, they can share their skill. Bubbly students from Kangware Primary, Mutuini Primary, Dagoreti Muslim, Kinyanjui Road Primary School came together to showcase their understanding of school safety. First of all, we should know that it is very important to keep people safe in school because the community depends on the school to keep their children safe as long as they are in school. So imagine the schools to put extra gates and extra emergency doors to prevent a stampede during a commotion in order for the children to get out of the school easily and safely. Seventhly is that on occasions whereby the school premises are made of windows, like here in our schools, our, our school hall is made of windows, people should avoid throwing stones because this could easily cause their breakage and this could cause cuts when the children encounter with them. Um, enforcement of class rules. As pupils, Teachers should, teachers should enforce class rules at the beginning of the year and also they should enter the class ready to teach and they should not get angry very quickly. The 11th point is that the people should plant trees around the school compound so that they ca there can be enough oxygen for them to breathe. As you all know, unclean air like carbon monoxide can result to death or heart failure. The next one is that the, the school administration should ensure that the school has an emergency assembly meeting point so that if there is any emergency at school, the, the pupils and teachers can assemble there so that they can be told what has emerged. So please, we urge you to take our emergency, our safety measures so as to keep our schools safe. Thank you. Proper sanitation. This consists of toilets, and water and our health. Sometimes the toilets are not well built. Some of them have big holes which can which small children can fall into. And you'll say this is just a normal thing. It will get healed quickly. What will happen to him? He will get poison and maybe his or her hand will, will have to be cut. So when we, what we will do when we go back to our school, we will enforce on the safety measures we have had from different schools. We will encourage teamwork back in our school. We'll encourage other pupils and our schools to take part in co-curricular activities and such events so as to nurture the talents and other involved things. What we would like to be done next time when we meet Mostly we will, we will urge the team to make sure that different classes have the same activity. Obedience is the first goal to, to know when you are in school or in, when you are in other schools. As, as I have come, we, are, we have come in this school, we have met all the schools. Obedience is what some teachers check. Because when I have come, I have not seen any child just struggling for when the food came. There are some children who didn't struggle for the food. That is showing that we have obedience and we can wait and for arrangement in our school. The second thing is what I, when I, go, I will go to our school, I will tell them how 
clean the school is. Even when I walk around here, I don't see even a, a paper or something that has been dropped. Even the toilets, they are three in, and they are, uh, they are clean and they are not dirty. When you see the children are well and there is, not, there is no noise making in class, that is the, it's a way of showing obedience. Two, three. These simple ideas on school safety, because these are ideas that parents in other schools, not necessarily participating on the school safety, can pick up and implement. School safety is not expensive to implement because it just means a switch in the mind for parents to begin to appreciate that they can do a lot to ensure the safety of their children. Perhaps clear the play field to ensure that it's level for children to play in. Also ensure good relationships at home for children to grow up so that they can focus and be more attentive in the classroom. <laughs> Because we have we have related with others, we have seen how how dangerous the drugs are. We have ha we have had ideas from different schools. Uh, we had 40 children from every school. That's about 200, and a number of teachers and the head teachers from these five schools. I'm happy to report that also the children were able to come together, as you uh, will see in their reports. They were able to interact. They were able to know each other, to make friends. And uh, one strong point coming from them is they feel now more responsible. They will be able to enhance safety in their schools. And they wish even to meet further and discuss you know, other issues that relate to, to safety in schools. They have also come up very clearly that you know, learning is not only academic, Learning is all round, and uh, I think with this is coming very strongly from, from the children. So I know some of our school may not have the facilities we, we would like to, but it's our prayer and hope that this, the community donors, school uh, management committee will look into these areas that have been raised. So the Kinyanjui Road Primary School was an exceptional example of how children can take on their teachers, can take on their parents as they drive. They are, they are in their driving seat in their understanding of school safety and in demanding that indeed they need to learn in a safe environment. Come on, everybody, be a light that shines.